Welcome back to another episode of The Pickle Pulse. I'm your host, Brian Green, and today we are going to talk about a paddle company that I've been waiting and waiting, and there were delays on shipping coming from China where these guys were ordered, and then finally it has arrived. Today we are going to be talking about, let's go, Nexus ProStar, which comes in a fantastic and pretty cool little carrying case which i think is um really nice especially at the price point because now you're buying 199 dollar 240 dollar 280 dollar paddles and all you get is a paddle uh so this is coming in at 169 and with my code you can knock 10 percent off of that which will be pulse 10 and the value and or the proof is in the pudding when you get this paddle you will see all the fun things that i have learned over the past two weeks or so so Without further delay, check out this gorgeous paddle. Um, It comes with a blue overwrap or a blue handle, and then I put my white overwrap on it. But what I found immediately striking is the titanium and 3K carbon fiber weave. It glistens in the sun, and it's got a really cool undertone of blue to it. So if you're a paddle geek but you also care what the paddle looks like, you're going to be really fired up on this particular paddle. It's one of the best looking paddles that I've ever seen. Um, Other than, I think the graphics could probably be improved. I think the aliens need to uh, step it up with their artwork. But for now, the uh, titanium carbon fiber weave is really cool and unique. So, the reason that I wanted to talk about this paddle is I love things that are innovative. I love creative and unique things. And in this world of pickleball, where there are thousands of companies out there getting a paddle shipped over from China or Indonesia or wherever it is that they're making it, it all seems to be about the same. You're going to get a thermoformed carbon fiber. You're going to get a Kevlar face. You're going to get a Gen 1 or maybe a Gen 3. Uh, But most of them are very similar other than tiny little minute details. What I like about the ProStar is that there are a bunch of things that are unique to this paddle. Uh, Let's talk about the first thing, which I've already gone over, the 3K and titanium face. So titanium has only been used in one other paddle, to my knowledge, which is the bread and butter Shogun. And that paddle seemed to come in very head heavy. I never got a chance to play with it, but I heard it was a solid paddle. Lots of people liked it, but it was heavy. And so you had to play with the weighting. And I will tell you that this paddle is similar, but I wouldn't consider it heavy. It just felt a little head heavy when I first got it. So the titanium face is supposed to last longer than a carbon fiber or a traditional carbon fiber weave. Um, Very similar to the Kevlar, although I think it's going to last a little longer because I'll tell you, I've been playing with this paddle for two weeks and there is no wear whatsoever in this paddle anywhere. So it is very durable. The other thing that I found that was really unique about this paddle is the core. So you have your traditional polypropylene core, but after they put that core in, they inject injected each of the little foam cores with an EVA foam. So this terrified me at first when I talked to Logan, I was questioning whether this would be a legal paddle or not. As we know, other EVA foam paddles have been nixed by the USAPA. And uh, who knows, unless you pony up a bunch of money, maybe UPA as well. Uh, It seems like UPA just wants to charge their $75 to $100,000. And then you can get whatever you want passed based on their new Mod TA-15 rulings, which is essentially a Gen 3. So back to the EVA foam, Uh, the ones that I have hit prior to this, uh, the one that pops to mind is the Oni, and it was outrageously powerful. Um, Also, the Gearbox is a foam core, another outrageously powerful. So my expectation of this paddle was, am I going to be able to control it when I get it? And how poppy and powerful is it going to be? Now, to my surprise, as I started playing with it, yes, it definitely rose above many of the other paddles that I've played with this year in pop and power. But I also found that the power wasn't so overwhelming that I couldn't hit really consistent drops with this paddle. 
And uh, the other cool thing is because of the foam injected cells, it has the biggest, sweetest, juiciest sweet spot out there. And as I was playing with it, after a week or so, and I really adjusted to the paddle, I felt like I couldn't miss. Everything seemed very plush, and usually I'm all over the face of the paddle, so I have to imagine I was doing the same thing with this paddle. It just felt really good. My resets were consistent, and even though there's a ton of pop and power on this, I found that my favorite shot to hit with it was a third shot drop. It just felt so plush, and the tightness of the face. So titanium is going to feel a little more stiff, when you first hit it, the tightness of the face actually allowed me to kind of punch them forward, especially on shorter drops, and then roll them from the back line. I felt super comfortable hitting third shot drops with this over and over again, and you'll see in the videos that I hit a lot of them. Uh, once I got used to the feel of the power, uh, I then could swing really hard and keep the ball in. So it was a paddle that took about five hours or so to get used to. Uh, but once I've gotten used to it, it's been one of my favorites to play with. So let's talk about the overall specs for this paddle. As I said before, it is a titanium and carbon fiber blended face. It has a honeycomb polymer core with foam injected cells. So each one, as you saw in the video that I put up, um, is injected with foam, which creates this super plush feel. Um, it is a thermoformed unibody paddle, so it feels very solid in your hand. It's a 16 and a half inch elongated shape. The paddle width is seven and a half inches, and the paddle weight comes in anywhere between eight and eight and a half ounces. I will tell you that this one came in at 8.3 for myself when I put it on the scale, and I've added weight. I'm going to pull out of this real quick. I've added weight at about the five and seven portion of the paddle. And that's just three grams of the little Thrive strips that come with any purchase from Thrive. Thank you guys. And uh, by doing that addition, this it took away the head heaviness of the paddle. So anyway, I'll get to that again in a bit. This is a 16 millimeter thick paddle and the handle circumference is 4.25 inches. And the handle length is that perfect little sweet spot of five and a half inches. I didn't get a swing weight or a twist weight on it. Uh, although I will say out of the box, I'm betting the swing weight was probably 118 to 120, somewhere in there. It did, like I said, felt a little head heavy. Um, the twist weight has to be a high number because it is one of the most stable and forgiving paddles that I've played with. Um, I will get those numbers and I'll put them in the description after I get them. I gotta go see my buddy Tickle and he will help me with that. Okay, so I wanna hit the points that I always like to talk about. The first one we'll hit is pop and power. So the, the reasons that EVA foam first car started coming out is because of how the pickleball would come off of the face and essentially launch from the foam. Um, the EVA inside of this is not laid out. It's not of its own. It's filled into the cells. And the pop on this paddle, I would give a 9.5 out of 10. Um, pretty close to the gearbox, but not quite there. Uh, all of the punches that I were hitting at the kitchen line just felt effortless. And the ball was launching off of the face. The other thing is I was playing some guys that... I typically wouldn't want to attack their body, and I felt very comfortable and safe going ahead and punching it at them, knowing that the ball is going to come back, but I didn't think that they were going to be that ready, uh, simply because the extra little bit of pop on this definitely takes away time for them when I'm hitting the ball at them in close proximity. The power of the paddle is where I was really, really surprised. So the gearbox that I played with and... Also, the Gen 3s that I played with felt really insane in the power department, especially when you hit it on that sweet spot. The ball launches off, and it's almost uncontrollable unless you put tons of topspin on this. I will say that the Pro Star comes in at a 8, maybe a 8.5 out of 10 to the gearbox's power, and 
what I loved about it is it still allowed me to swing through the ball on my drives and feel really good about keeping the ball in most of the time, unless I just hit an errant shot. So nine, 9.5 on pop, and then an eight, 8.5 in power, somewhere in that range. This guy packs the heat. Once you get used to it, it's really easy to control. And so I guess that'll go right into my next section, which is control and playability. Um, as I said before earlier in the video, this paddle excels at hitting the ball hard, but because of the feel and the large sweet spot of the paddle, it makes it super easy to hit consistent great drops all over the court. Also, dinking wasn't an issue. I didn't feel like the paddle was launching the ball off. Um, when I was putting a small swing on it, it was coming off exactly the way that I wanted it to. And I was able to hit dinks all over the court without popping too many up. I am a 4.7, 4.8, so I'm going to pop them up occasionally. Um, so let's talk about spin. The first thing I noticed when I received this paddle is that the face did not feel very gritty to me. As a matter of fact, pull on out of there and I'll show you. It's woven almost like there's a needle and thread going north and south on the paddle face. And if you hear here, it has a tiny bit of grit, but it's such a fine grit that I found that my first thing was, is this going to spin the ball at all? Uh, and then when I got it out on the court, I'm not sure why, but the ball catches in the little grooves quite well. And uh, I was getting a lot of spin. I wouldn't say an overwhelming spin. There have been other paddles that I've reviewed this year that I think will spin the ball a little better. Uh, but I was getting enough where the ball was dipping over the net when I was hitting great drives and plenty of spin on my cuts and uh, the different, like I love to do a backhand drop cut shot like a lot of people do. And I just felt super comfortable and I felt like the ball was catching on it really well. So I, I think spin wise, this isn't a 10 out of 10, but I would definitely give it a seven out of 10. It's up there with all the top performers out on the marketplace. And if I had to guess, it'd probably be in a spin rate of like 1900 or so. And the final thing that I want to say about this paddle is that for the price point, $169, which is about half of what you can get a Eula Gen 3, you can get a titanium face paddle that has Gen 3 technology since it's a foam filled core. It's not a foam core. It doesn't have a springboard technology like Eula does. Um, but essentially you're getting a Gen 3 paddle with a titanium face, which will last longer than many of the other paddles, especially carbon fiber paddles, for 169. And if you use my code Pulse 10, you can save 10% off of that purchase as well. It also helps to support my channel. I don't get paid to do these reviews. I do it simply because I love pickleball and I love paddles and the tech that's coming out. Uh, so if you want to support the channel, I'd really appreciate it. You can find these paddles at nexuspickleballusa.com. And I will put a link in the description as well as my code down there. And um, really what I want to hear from you guys is your thoughts on this new tech. I mean, this is something that is innovative and new, kind of like the Ohm Arrow back here. I mean, this paddle is not done by anyone but Ohm. And this paddle is not done by anyone but Nexus. And I think if I were bread and butter trying to sell Shogun's right now, I would be figuring out what he did here because it is a better version of that paddle. And I can say that feeling very good at the end of the day because it's one of the most fun paddles that I've played with all year. And I think it might be one that's going to stay in the bag and go on some trips with me in tournaments. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please just like and subscribe. Again, put a comment down in the box. Let me know what you think about this innovative, cool tech. And until next time, see you on the courts.